question is, find all unit vectors which are perpendicular to both a, which is equal to minus 1, minus 2, 2, and b, which is equal to 1, 3, minus 1. Well, um, I don't know what the um, vectors perpendicular to that are, so I think a reasonable thing to do would be to write them down as like x, y, z. So, let x, y, z in R3 be such a vector. Now my vector is perpendicular to minus 1, minus 2, 2, which means that the dot product with minus 1, minus 2, 2 should be 0. So let's write that down. x, y, z dot minus 1, minus 2, 2 is 0. So when I expand that out I get minus x minus 2y plus 2z is 0. Okay, And it's perpendicular to 1, 3, minus 1 as well, so um, x, y, z dot 1, 3, minus 1 should be 0 as well, and expanding that out gives me x plus 3y minus z is 0. So I've got two equations to solve. So let's give them numbers so I can deal with them. This one's equation 1, and this one's equation 2. So we could get rid of the x by adding those equations together. So um, equation 1 plus equation 2 equation 1 plus equation 2 gives so the x's cancel minus 2y plus 3y is y and 2z minus z is z so y plus z which is equal to 0 okay so y is equal to minus z Right, so we can sub this value of z back into one of the other equations, and I think equation 2 is best because that's got a plus x, so I won't be dealing with too many minus signs. So, oh, sorry, let's write what we're about to do. Sub into equation 2. So let's see, x plus 3 times minus z minus z is 0, so x minus 4z is 0, so x is equal to 4z. Now I only had um, two equations and three unknowns, so I actually can't figure out what z is, but I can write y and x in terms of z, which is what I've done. So let's write down our, our point in terms of z. So x, y, z is in fact equal to 4z minus z, z. And I can pull the z out the front of that. That would be 4 minus 1, 1. So what that means is that for any um, value of z, that's um, a vector that's perpendicular to both one minus, minus 1, minus 2, 2 and 1, 3, minus 1. I've only got um, some of those vectors because I'm supposed to look for unit vectors so I actually I'm interested in particular z's, not all of them. So I can just say for some z in R, I don't know which z's I've um, got but I can figure them out because I know that my vector is supposed to have length 1. If I choose z um, such that um, I divide by the length of 4 minus 1, 1, then I should be okay. So the length of 4 minus 1, 1 is equal to the square root of 4 squared, which is 16, plus minus 1 squared, which is 1, plus 1 squared, which is 1, which is the square root of 18. So if I do 1 on root 18, times 4 minus 1, 1, that should give me a unit vector. So x, y, z 
should be equal to 1 on root 18 times 4 minus 1, 1. Okay, but it does say all unit vectors, which says to me that there's more than one. Um, I suppose that if it points in the opposite direction, then it's still a unit vector and it's still perpendicular to both of those. So it really should be plus or minus 1 on root 18 times um, 4 minus 1, 1. So if we just put a plus or minus in there, we should get both of the unit vectors which are perpendicular to my two other vectors. And that's the end of the question.